We can define our own functions in Haskell. We'll do this in a separate file so we don't have to retype our definitions every time we use them. I'm going to use Emacs here, but you're welcome to use any text editor you like. It is important that files be saved as plain text as opposed to something like RTF or DOCX. Create a file called program.hs. Here's the first definition. The syntax is very clear and elegant, without a lot of extra punctuation. We only need those parentheses for operator precedence reasons, not because square root is a function. As you can hopefully tell, our function calculates the hypotenuse of a right triangle. Function names cannot begin with uppercase letters. This is just a convention in Java, but it's enforced in Haskell. To use the function, start up ghci. It's best to do this in the directory where the file is located, so we won't have to type long file path names. Load the file with the command colon load program. Now, hypotenuse 3, 4 is 5.0. Haskell also has an if-else expression. Here's a function that uses it. Load this again with colon load, or if you prefer, the abbreviated version, colon L. Now, identify camel 1 returns dromedary, but identify camel 2 returns Bactrian. The else part is required. A Haskell function must always return a value. Without the else part, identify camel 2 would be undefined. We can use the word let to define functions on the fly. If we let double x equal 2 times x, then double 7 is 14. We can also define simple values. If we let x equal 3.0 and let y equal 4.0, then hypotenuse xy is 5.0. Incidentally, if we let x equal 3 and let y equal 4, then hypotenuse xy gives us an error. This has to do with Haskell's type system, which is both extremely sophisticated and lazy. When we use 3, Haskell waits until the last minute to decide whether it's an integer or a floating point number. When we attach the value to the name x, though, Haskell has to decide. It chooses integer, and unfortunately, that's not what hypotenuse, or more specifically the square root function called by hypotenuse, wants, so we get an error. Don't worry if that's confusing. It will make sense after chapter 3. Just as colon load can be abbreviated colon l, colon quit can be abbreviated colon q. You're probably getting bored with numbers by now. Good news. In the next video, we'll look at lists.